Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're doing a grocery haul today. Seth wanted to help me. Are you gonna show the food, Seth? Yeah. Seth is our 10th child with 11 kids. So we're buying for 13 people. Our grocery budget is usually $1,500 a month. I haven't spent it all the last few months, so I'm stocking up this month. I'm spending it all, I'm sure and some maybe. <laughs> we shopped at Sam's Club for the month of November, although I'm gonna go back later for Thanksgiving because I just couldn't get my mind around what we're eating for Thanksgiving yet. We have a special guest coming this month. I'm very excited about that. She'll be around the whole month plus a little bit. And so we got a couple extra things for that. And when I go back halfway through the month, I wanna take her in to the store to help shop for that as well. Okay, Seth, let's do this. I don't have a lot to say about the prices. What can I say, guys? I can't say anything except I'm thankful that we can afford to buy food for our family and the Lord provides for us because the amount of money I spent at Sam's Club, which is $750, used to fill this entire table. Whoa! Okay, he knocked over a stool, but I caught him. Are you okay? Are you still gonna help me? Oh, no, maybe not. Okay, so I'll quickly go through and show you what we got. We got two massive things of toilet paper. Most normal people in America buy one of these every six months, I think. I don't know, I'm just guessing. We buy two a month, whenever we can. Uh, diapers and some paper towel just to stock up. We got four sour cream, yes, four. I try to think sometimes if I divided our family size to like the average American family be four people, so we're almost three times that. So I guess we do eat a lot of sour cream. <laughs> we got two things of chicken thighs, two things of chicken breasts, and some hot dogs and buns just to have some easy lunches. Last month, we signed up for Costco. Was it last month? I think it was last month. And I really liked Costco for several things. I wanted to go shop really fast today, so I just went to the store I knew, but I think next month I'm gonna do Costco and I probably should've gotten the hot dogs there. They were better. Whatever I got there, the all beef ones, I liked them a lot. We don't buy hot dogs all the time, but we've been doing a lot of campfires at our farm. It's a great easy lunch and fun to throw on the campfire. We're stocked up on some parchment paper and foil. I just really feel like uh, I've, I've been looking through the food that I store and making sure I have plenty of everything. We got some string cheese, just we'll go through that easily this month. And the regulars, a couple coconut oil, a couple of maple syrups. I noticed I was low on jam, so I did buy a bunch of these just to make sure I have plenty because I have plenty of so many things that, that store well. Um, but not the jam. One thing I've never really stocked up on is spices, and so wanted to get an extra of each of them. Usually when I'm s sort of low, and we go through these fairly quickly, then I'll buy another one, so I just wanna have a backup of everything. I got it all, including a taco seasoning, which I usually make my own, but it's nice to have these when we empty it out. I will just make my own and fill it. So these are all the spices we use on a regular basis. Turmeric is the one you might not be able to read, but the rest are pretty obvious there. And then we got some lunch meat. This is like normally used to be very recently, $4, about $4 for one of these things. $8 is the cheapest one we got, so we got four of them, and it was happened to be ham. Everything else was uh, above that. It was 10 or $12 for these lunch meats. That's one place I've noticed a huge difference. And we got one pepperoni too. And these pasture rigs eggs, we get eggs from a friend from a farm and sometimes where we get milk, but we just haven't had many lately. So I just want to stock up on eggs. These pasture raised ones from Sam's Club are very good. The, the yolks are bright, bright orange, like strangely bright orange as if you're getting them from the farm. So yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but they taste good. We got a big thing of Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese, the fresh kind, definitely making lasagna while our guest is here. And we'll just do a couple of Italian things, I'm sure. We got a couple of things of tomatoes. Boy, I'm gonna miss the garden fresh tomatoes. There's nothing like them. We have a few more green ones that are turning red on our counter, but we just didn't get that many tomatoes this year. We never have since we've lived at this house. We, we need to amend the soil or something, but we do eat a lot of tomatoes, so that will supplement. We got a big bag of yellow onions for the month, a big bag of red onions, four bags of red potatoes. Easily go through all of that. A couple things of oranges. Recently I was at the store and stocked up on, I just grabbed a bunch of apples for, um, just because we were out of fruit. So this will just go to supplement that. And then not many people are eating bananas these days at our house. We got some peppers, garlic. I brought this garlic home and my kids said, I thought we were done buying Chinese garlic. I just wanted to get peeled garlic. 
because it's so much easier. Uh, and I did not look at where it was from. We saw that video about Chinese garlic. I don't know if it's true. I don't believe everything I see on the internet, that's for sure. But my kids thought we should uh, try to get some American grown. You know, it's always better when food comes closer to your house. Yep, that's a product of China. But it always is good when food isn't crossing the entire globe to get to you, I think. So whether it's true or not, it's better to get it closer front to us, right? We can all agree on that. I picked up some cabbage. We do like to cook with cabbage here and there, and it's really nice when it's already chopped for you. This is $1.98, so yay. One thing that has a very, very good price. We got lemons and limes, and we got all these little tortillas. You know, we have a lot of kids. These make such great lunches. My kids love them. It's great for taco nights, last minute. We could do that once a week with all these tortillas, and we do He's showing them off. <laughs> we do lunch meat and cheese on them with some lettuce. Oh, by the way, I couldn't find romaine lettuce at all. None, none whatsoever. Um, but we do peanut butter and jelly on these, meat and cheese, lettuce, and then obviously all the taco things. We got some huge burrito ones. That This is a double pack, so I think it's two of, yeah, 40 of them. So we're gonna do some sheet pan quesadillas, and then we got some special treats. Have you guys tried these candy covered popcorn? <laughs> They're really good. These two bags we'll use for a movie night one night. I told you we're having a guest, so we want to have some special things. And I know that her favorite cookie is this sh is a shortbread cookie. I'm pretty sure. So we got this box. It's a good excuse for us all to get to eat some shortbread cookies. Yum. He's been hanging out by this area. <laughs> and then we got some peanut butter M&Ms, which is my favorite. And once it's open, all the children help me finish them <laughs> in no time at all. So that's our junk food area for the month. Some fun things, we do a lot of baking. We eat some sugar things often, um, but we usually bake them, so it's not often we buy a lot of pre-made sugar stuff, but it is fun treat when we do. Okay guys, 750 for all of that with the toilet paper and diapers and all. And then let me show you what we're getting from Azure Standard. Okay, welcome back to another edition of Sarah Buys a lot of stuff. <laughs> Ridiculous amounts of stuff. Okay, today I got my Azure standard order, so I'm showing you that to add to my grocery haul. So I'm really just stocking up this month. That's That was the plan. We've been eating meals of things we have um, from our storage, which is nice and convenient, like taco things and spaghetti things and beans and rice things and all the soups and all that. It's so easy to eat out of that. So um, I did want to stock up though in a lot of stuff. We were out of almost out of spaghetti noodles, so I went to Walmart. Can ignore my homemade yogurt there. This is all linguine. That's what they had. Whole wheat, whole wheat spaghetti, whole wheat spaghetti noodles. So I think I got like 36 boxes. <laughs> the most you can get on the pickup order is 12 of each. So I got 12 of all of the whole wheat spaghetti noodles, but they had to replace one with linguine because they didn't have enough. So I got all of that from Walmart pickup order this morning, and these two ricotta cheese. I am going to make lasagna, so that's one thing I had to buy ingredients for the meal. I've stocked up on some ramen, too. Um, I haven't been able to find it much, and my three older boys, they sure do love ramen for, like, <laughs> snacking. When they're hungry, they go for oatmeal or granola and yogurt or ramen. And usually they throw the seasoning packets out or just use a very little bit, and they make their own concoction with the noodles. And it just works really well. I've tried to buy the noodles without the packets and it seems cheaper to just buy the packets. So that's what we have done. This will last us like, a, oh, and I got some at Sam's Club too. I'll tell you, I went in there. So this will all last us a year or more. We'll put some of it at the farm and some here. Anyway, so Walmart was that and that and that. And I'll tell you my total for that. <laughs> for all the noodles. My total is $86, and now I have thought about, I have a lot of my other kind of noodles, just not the spaghetti noodles, which is our favorite right now. I've thought about getting a pasta maker. We do make pasta by hand sometimes. A viewer sent us some fun little tools that make it fun too, and you can make different pastas out of it. It's, it's good, and I have the good flours to make pasta, but one day I do want to buy like just a pasta machine. I'm just not ready to spend the money on it and take the time to learn it. So uh, for now we're just stocking up, but eventually the plan is that I want to just get a machine. So I just use my ground, freshly ground flour or durum weed or whatever and make pasta. You just stick it in the machine and it spits out pasta. So for right now we're still stocking up. 
And uh, then, okay, I had to stop by Sam's Club again yesterday. I just needed a lot of pajamas for several of the kids they needed, and I always get the girls some leggings every year. So when I was there, that's when I got that ramen because I hadn't seen it for a while. And I also saw that they had cans of corn on sale for si just over $6 each. So I got six boxes of the corn, canned corn, which is good. We needed to stock up on that, um, running a little lower on that. And then let me show you what I got at Azure. So that's where I spent the big bucks. I'll just run through it real quick. I did finally find hard white wheat. It's, they probably had it for a little bit, but I just bought one big 50 pound bag. I'll mix it with my red wheat for bread and stuff, but we've been loving the hard red wheat. I got a, I think this is a 25 pound bag of black beans. It's huge. And then they didn't have the 50 pound bag of cane sugar that I normally get and we're running low on that. So I got two 25 pound bags. That's what they did have. And we're also running low on brown sugar. That's what we bake with. Oh, one of my boys is taking out the trash. Sorry, <laughs> ignore that. Uh, the brown sugar. I'm looking for some black strap molasses to just mix with the sugar to make our own brown sugar. I think it's a lot more economical that way. And Azure was out of it and I couldn't find it at Sam's Club. So I just need to go to a grocery store that has molasses and then we'll make some brown sugar. I got this smaller bag of red kidney beans and we got some different kind of cream cheese than we normally buy. I will freeze this and if it's in huge, if this all is one package, which I think it is, I will actually break it up into smaller bits to freeze it. Cream cheese freezes pretty well, I find. And we use it a lot just to cook with lately, bake with, or, or, or put in soups rather, or whatever, I don't know. Bake with and soups. So yeah, it's a big thing, so I'll divide it up and freeze it that way. We got two blocks to try that kind out. I got, I got some helpers over here. <laughs> We're all watching what, what we bought. They want to make cookies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Seth, hold on just a second. You can get back to your cleaning in a moment. <laughs> I got some beeswax candles. I think Belle lit one of them already. I've, I've never done beeswax candles. Wanted to try it out. I actually would rather just make them myself. I think I'm going to, because I don't have bees yet and I don't have my own beeswax, I'm going to order some beeswax from Amazon and make some of my own, but we're gonna try these. They're supposed to purify the air, be better than the scented candles that we use. We don't use many, but in the fall, I do like to light a candle and around Christmas. So trying these out. Um, Belle has some asthma allergies. I wonder if this will help just, you know, purify the air. This was supposed to do, we'll see. Okay, and here's uh, also where my money went. I was running low on my soaps and last time, I need a dish soap. I bought it from Azure. It's really good, clean ingredients. I loved it a lot. So I got four of those. I think they have one of one of their options. The best price is to get like a four pack of these big bottles. So did that, which is a nice way to stock up. I needed laundry detergent as well. So just I did the same thing there. The reviews were so good for that. Also, I'm trying out their dishwasher powders. This is a massive thing. That's the only downside is I gotta find room in the cupboard underneath the sink for this. But uh, yeah, this should last us a long time, which is nice and also really, really good reviews. So look at all those massive cleaning products, but we're stocked up now. Okay, did I say Walmart was $86 and the Azure, all that stuff was 589. I actually think that buying in bulk is what is keeping me in my budget right now when the prices are a lot more. Like these noodles normally, were a dollar for a long, long, long time. Now they're a dollar forty-three. So that's the increase of prices. That I mean, that's that's real. A dollar forty-three when you add it up. So if a lot of the groceries are have raised that much, it's very hard to stay in budget. But the stocking up has helped me for the most part, and eating what we've stocked up. So eating the kind of foods that um, that we've stored, <laughs> and we're doing a lot of that. We are eating a lot more beans than we used to. That kind of thing. And it also helps that we buy our milk and eggs locally as much as we can. Uh, we buy from a local farmer. And then we buy our beef and our pork locally or uh, from farmers in bulk. We buy the whole pig and the whole cow at once. So those kind of things are helping us a lot too. So I'll put my grand total of everything I've spent this month so far we will go back in the middle of the month for some thanksgiving things and fresh fruits and vegetables it might be over this month a little bit but not too bad i hope you guys have a wonderful november and we'll talk to you again in the next video thanks for watching
Sarah buys a whole lot of stuff edition November. <laughs> Bye guys.